In this video, we will learn about the acute flaccid paralysis surveillance for polio. Acute flaccid paralysis is a sudden onset of weakness and floppiness in any body part of a child less than 15 years of age or paralysis in any person of any age in whom polio is suspected. Acute refers to sudden onset and rapid progression of illness. Flaccid refers to floppiness and reduced tone. Paralysis refers to weakness or partial or complete loss of power of the affected part. Now let us look at the signs and symptoms of AFP. General symptoms of AFP are acute paralysis or weakness of one or more limbs or half side of the body or all four limbs. Other manifestations could be facial palsy, neck flop and bulbar paralysis leading to paralysis of pharyngeal muscles and respiratory muscles. Under the Global Polio Eradication Initiative, surveillance for poliomyelitis is conducted through investigation of acute flaccid paralysis cases. India has been declared polio free in 2014 but until global certification is received the country needs to continue quality AFP surveillance now let us look for the reasons of AFP surveillance instead of polio surveillance polio surveillance for paralysis case in a child that looks like polio alone is not sufficient because it is impossible to precisely identify all paralytic polio cases clinically conditions that may present as AFP are gullion bar syndrome transverse myelitis traumatic neuritis, Bell's palsy, transient paralysis, post-diptheretic palsy, peripheral neuropathy, meningoencephalitis, paralysis following stroke, hypokalemia, etc. AFP cases with atypical presentations have turned out to be cases of wild poliovirus in the past and have helped in identification of areas of WPV transmission. If enough AFP cases of the non-polio type are being detected, it implies that the surveillance is sensitive enough to pick up polio transmission cases in that area. The rate at which the non-polio AFP cases occur is called the non-polio AFP rate. AFP surveillance for block or district or state is sensitive when non-polio AFP rate is 2 or more than 2 per 1 lakh under 15 population. Do remember to report all AFP cases having current flaccid paralysis or history of flaccid paralysis in the current illness or borderline or ambiguous presentations. All the cases having onset of paralysis in the last six months should be reported. The consequence of missing a polio case is more serious than occasionally including an ambiguous case especially during the final stages of polio eradication. The date of onset for AFP is the date of onset of paralysis or weakness. From all AFP cases with onset of paralysis within the last 60 days, two stool samples should be collected and sent to a WHO accredited lab for virus culture. Definition of adequate stool sample There should be a gap of at least 24 hours between the two samples in view of intermittent shredding of the virus in the stool. Samples can be collected up to 60 days of paralysis onset. But remember, the chances of poliovirus isolation decreases beyond 14 days of onset of paralysis. Each sample should be of an adult thumb size and reach the lab in good condition. As per the global standards for AFP surveillance, adequate stool sample for block and district should be above 80%. Hence, early reporting of AFP cases and sample collection is important. Expert Review Committee ERC documents have to be submitted to Expert Review Committee when both the stool specimens could not be collected within 14 days of onset of paralysis, that is, inadequate AFP case, or isolation of poliovirus in the stool specimen. DIO or SMO must submit below mentioned documents within 70 days of paralysis onset. This includes ERC checklist, completed CIF, clinical record, ERC forms, 60 days follow-up status, photos and videos of the case, all health facilities treating the case of paralysis or any person who comes across such cases should report cases having paralysis onset within last six months. Acute flaccid paralysis is a syndrome and cases should be reported irrespective of the clinical diagnosis. Immediately report the AFP cases to DIO and SMO by fastest means like phone call, WhatsApp, email or SMS. Information required are patient's name, age, sex, symptoms, date of onset of paralysis, 
address and mobile number all the afp cases must be investigated using the case investigation form cif by dio or surveillance nodal officers within 48 hours of case notification send the filed cif to the dio or smo office on the same day on notification of an afp case the investigation team should search for additional afp cases in the community by conducting house to house search meeting with community leaders village heads chemists local private practitioners and frontline health workers now let us look at the purpose of afp surveillance afp surveillance helps to detect reliably if polio virus transmission is occurring for polio free certification it is essential to provide evidence of the absence of wpv or vdpv transmission through a sensitive afp surveillance afp surveillance will continue until global polio free certification is achieved